Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Like today was like a power walking day. I know. We, we, you said we were moving. We were moving. <laughs> it, it must be the boots. I think it is. We have our boots. We have our sweater dresses today. It's that kind of day. We're ready. We're ready for the first day of December. Well, what do they say? Does March come in like a lion? Is that what this? Anyways, I feel like December came in like winter. Like yes, it really came in here. like it was supposed to. Um, so we saw a lot of the snow starting to fall this morning, mm -hmm. and we're taking a live look. We have Brian Smith Meyer out uh, early this morning. He's been traveling all around the area west and south of the city. And I think this is him coming right back onto the parkway west. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can see the roads are wet. Yeah, I mean, it, on my drive in this morning, it was a little slushy. It was slippery. I mean, of course, it was dark, so you really had to take your time. But um, oh, I see where he is where now. Is he? I know exactly where, where he is. because This he? is how I go home. Oh. So he just got off the Parkway West coming <laughs> down from Green Tree Hill and this is on Sawmill Run. Look at you. Now I know. That's the thing about Pittsburgh, like a Pittsburgher, like you, you have you to know. know all of the roads, right. and the back roads and the, yeah. So. so we should mention that you are here again because, and we, we didn't want to say anything yesterday. We were so mm -hmm. busy with STEM Fest, which we had a blast right. with, um, but David hurt his back. He had been complaining about having to rake the leaves, and so he got to it and hurt his back. Well, here's the problem. Now it's time to shovel snow. I have a feeling what? David will not be shoveling any snow anytime oh, soon. I think Gary's going to be on duty. Well, I hope he feels better. Uh, we all do. Yeah. We all do. He's getting some much needed rest following doctor's orders, and hopefully he'll be back with us tomorrow. We I hope say, he's feeling that, better. That's happened to me before, like a back spasm, My just gosh. out of the blue. But yeah. it, it resolved itself within like a day or so. so. Right. You just got to rest and yeah. stretch. <laughs> We're pulling for you, David. We are. We are. And I bet he's watching at home, too. Yeah. And, and his comfy sweatpants that I got him yeah. for his birthday, <laughs> if I had to guess. Um, well, a lot of people are in the mood to decorate early. I, I was reading some reports on just nostalgia in general and how much joy it's bringing people. Mm -hmm. um, so now that it's December, the snow is falling. We've decided to decorate the studio a little bit. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. We're does, getting into the holiday spirit. I'm feeling good about uh, it. Is Todd over there? Does he have his hat on? I don't know if we could get a shot. Yeah. We don't have a shot of him right now. But Todd even has his hot hat on. You guys all know our toad yeah. that sits does on the table. Does he still have his mask on? He yeah. does. He's doubled out today. His mask. Nice and warm. <laughs> um, but it's also National Christmas Lights Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a national day. There is a national Christmas lights day and, and apparently before Christmas lights people used to they used to try and balance candles on the branches of the Christmas tree. I can but see it, where this would be a really bad idea. Yes, turns out this was a really risky type of practice. Um, <laughs> people's houses yeah. caught on fire, so not a good thing. Um, but the electric Christmas lights, they were first invented in 1880 by Thomas Edison. Little history fact there for you. Oh, wow. But it, it really took a while to catch on because people were so distrustful. They didn't want their house to burn down again. So they just decided to put the, you know, fire on the tree yes. instead. Yeah, that so. seems like it makes sense. Mm -hmm. No, but I can understand, you know, new invention comes out and you're not really sure how it's going to work or exactly. if it is going to work. You guys do a lot in your neighborhood for Christmas. Like it's lit up. Well, literally. So uh, this really kind of all started because light up night was canceled mm -hmm. downtown. We know that they um, the city county tree, they taped something ahead of time so you could watch it. And, and really, people are just trying to make do. And I appreciate that so much. I, I think it's really cool that People are trying to still make events happen and take place under restrictions and, and everything that's going on this year. But I thought we could have light up night on our street. Why not? Right. So we talked about this last week and then Saturday was the big night. And here's here's a little video of Frankie lighting up our house, which was so much Look fun. That. Not that there's like this Yay! huge display. <laughs> I but, hear you in the background cheering. Yay. But here's the thing that was really cool. Um, we got a lot of houses on our street to decorate and to pitch in and to do this. And then we all walked around the neighborhood. It was early enough. It was like six o'clock at night. Um, so you can see some of the houses mm -hmm. turning on. So we walked around the neighborhood. Some people had little treats for the kids and candy canes set out and people were walking around with hot cocoa oh. and tea and I maybe had some wine in a glass. <laughs> Um, but you had your own little Christmas utopia. I tell you, you have the best neighbors I know. ever. It really, it, it was really nice. I, I strongly encourage 
anybody who has close neighbors who wants to do something like this, take this up next year. Mm -hmm. Everybody said how great they felt afterwards because there is something to like the nostalgia of something simple like Christmas lights and bringing back that joy of feeling like a, a child again at Christmas time. Right. And so to have everybody pitch in and to do this, to walk around, everybody was smiling. There was Christmas music playing. It was truly a very special night. Love it, yeah. and 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 the thing about it is, is that it almost makes you feel like things are normal, right? Well, I think we're all looking <laughs> for that. Uh, we're all looking for that little bit of normalcy, which is why I enjoyed our snow coverage so much this morning, mm -hmm. because it just felt like we're not covering mm -hmm. the pandemic, we're not covering COVID. Mm -hmm. We're covering something that normally happens this time of year, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, the good thing is that people, I mean, just like um, people in your neighborhood and, and your family, they, they are still decorating yeah. for Christmas. And like we were saying, it's just bringing like a sense of normalcy and kind of taking your mind off of all of what's happening. Yeah. So it's it's definitely a good thing. And um, people are started, they're starting to decorate earlier. And oh, so yeah. there are a lot of like retail stores uh, that have reported um, an increase in sales. Oh yeah, of Christmas we could see it. We ran out like on Saturday morning. We were, we thought we need one more thing yeah. for our display. So we <laughs> ran out and got, as, as Lila put it, a deflatable, like one of the, it was actually an inflatable, like one of the inflatable things that pump up with air. So it was yeah. a big Santa, but they were out of everything. They, I mean, there were only a few things left in the store because people had come in to buy all the lights and all the decorations. I think it's just, again, it's that nostalgia. It's wanting to feel normal. It's right. wanting to find some joy in something that's normal. Yeah, and if you're staying at home, I mean, you might, you might as well. Even if you're by yourself, you might as well kind of make your house look, look Festive. good. Festive. Yeah. yeah, and even if, I mean, when was the last time you went out? I don't know, do you guys get a live Christmas tree? We do, every year. <sighs> now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that up until like, two or three years ago, we would go to a big box store and, mm -hmm. and you know, get one of the pre-cut trees that are out because it was easy. Yeah. Last year, we went out to cut down our own tree and it was so much fun. Oh, I know the girls love that. They did. Yeah. But we have to show you this video because uh, one of our assignment editors here, Dickie Nasser, his family has a tradition to go cut down a tree and this is his daughter, Morgan. Take a look at this tradition that she started oh, for their that. family. <laughs> She's tackling hey. the Christmas tree there. I okay. guess by any means necessary, you get that sucker down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you find your tree, you pick it, you take it home <laughs> you, with you. That's how I picked my boyfriends. I, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. okay. That's, that's an effective <laughs> measure no, there. <laughs> that's how just you got kidding. Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> You're on to me. No, but that, it's a lot of fun, and we're so happy that he allowed us to share that uh, with their tradition. And yeah, I could, honestly, it's it's it was a kid. That was the last time I went to go do that. But I still have fond memories of picking out a Christmas tree, and they always have like the twinkling lights above the trees. And yeah. I don't know, it's just something about the smell too. Once you get a live Christmas tree, it's it's so good. It just smells like Christmas. Well, one of our photojournalists, Dan Boyko, he told me that his family started the tradition of cutting down a tree when they were very small. And he said that it's something like his kids look forward to and that they remember every year. And yeah. so I think finding those those special things that you can do as a family, they really stick with kids. They do. The only yeah. problem with the live Christmas tree is the cleanup. But Hey. There's there is that <laughs> there is that yeah. towards the end of the month. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, raising a couple of kids, I have seen what happens with siblings and the birth order and all of that. Yeah, and we found this fun video on TikTok. His name is TJ and he's dedicated an entire platform to this topic about like first first sibling, second sibling and how they act. So take a look. Thanks, Mom. Yes. I said the red plate. I'm not eating that. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've seen a lot of his videos mm -hmm. and I don't know Rocco's disposition just yet yeah. and how he's gonna interact with his siblings, but I can tell you that Thanks, judging Mom. from some of this, yes. It yes. is true. And Becky is, he's, she's one of our studio crew members. She's shaking she's her laughing. head. She has yeah. two kids. She knows. Yeah, I, I don't, you know what? I feel like children these days, I don't know, they seem so much more independent and so much more like willing to make a decision and they know what they want, they know what they don't want. I, I just feel like when I was younger, I was just happy to eat. I was just like, whatever was well, placed in front of me, I was like, this is great. Are you, and, are you the oldest? I'm the oldest, so yeah. maybe that has something to do with I it. I think so. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't know, but I thought that was funny. And I, I wonder, were you like that when you were a kid? Like, did, were you very well, decisive? 
I, I was also the firstborn, and so I feel like they say that the firstborn kids are, are I think it's most likely to become a president, mm -hmm. like the, the, the presidents are most likely for firstborn children. Oh. You, I think you're just more independent. I was like, more, I failed that mission. <laughs> you're more willing to follow the rules mm -hmm. and, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and then after oh, that, it just kind it. of, well, it's because parents get busy. That's right. That's what happens. Your parents get busy and you're like, I'll let this one slide. I don't have time to deal with that. <laughs> and right. then that's just how it all falls into place. Well, I'm excited to see what, how Rocco turns out, but I'm sure he'll be awesome. We're all waiting yeah. to see. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for us to take a quick break here. We've got more weather coverage with Ron ahead to get the latest on our snow totals. Plus, we're going live to Selena Pompiani, live in the middle of a winter wonderland in Market Square. She's at the People's Gas Holiday Market to show us some unique gift finds there, so we're going to check in with her. Yeah, we're also checking in with antiques expert Dr. Lori. We like to think of her, our, we like to think of her visits with us on Tuesday like a treasure hunt as she appraises your items and lets us know if they are worth a bundle or a bust. <laughs> Usually pretty good though. Yeah. Plus, we say happy anniversary to the young and the restless sub celebrating a big milestone today. All ahead on this snowy Tuesday morning, December 1st, 2020. We'll also look at conditions around our area, so stay inside and warm with us. We're just getting started. More of PTL is coming up after this break.